Hello people of YouTube and welcome to another video from my room here in Lima, Peru and welcome to another braces update video. It's been five months since I got braces. That's insane. I have to say I'm still not used to having braces. I think I'll never be. I feel them every day so if you have braces and you don't feel them at all I am really jealous. I have news which I am definitely going to leave to the very end of the video because it's something related to my treatment and date. It's so exciting! And so the very first thing I'm going to do is actually a request that was made by one of you guys in my previous video. I purchased this mouth retractors a while ago to apparently help me floss much easier but that was a terrible idea because my mouth got full of saliva didn't look good at all but one of you guys had the incredible idea to use them to show you my braces journey so that's what i'm gonna do right now i was specifically asked to try the medium and the large size because in my previous video i already tried the small one so Please wish me luck. I have the three of them right here. So I'm gonna leave the small one. And so here I have the medium and here I have the large one. So let's try the medium one. Uh-huh. Ah, <laughs> that was painful. I'm gonna try one more time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my god, ah, uh, I feel so much pressure, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. okay, okay, I think I got it, so this is the medium one, this is the medium one, I'm gonna get closer to the camera so you guys can see, <laughs> That's that. That's that. <laughs> it feels honey. It feels honey. <laughs> okay, this is large. The side, the other side, and yeah, as you guys can see, I don't have the steel ligatures anymore. That's a huge improvement. I feel like I injured my lips because it's like all red around it. <laughs> Something that I really need to ask my ortho next month is what is going to happen to my two molars that are located at the very back. Because I feel that my bottom teeth are like almost completely aligned <laughs> but these two teeth so I don't really know if they're gonna stay like that or if they're gonna get braced like in the future I don't know so that's something that I definitely need to ask next month my top teeth I don't know if you can see <laughs> this is a terrible position my neck hurts so I don't know if you can actually see anything, but that's sad. But yeah, I just feel like this month I am doing really well regarding uh, alignment and my bite and my whole braces journey overall. I'm gonna move to the side a little bit so you can see a comparison between my bite last month and then my bite this month. So remember that last month I had a very big gap caused by my open bite it's getting closer and i am really surprised this is my bite now the side you can definitely see that the gap is much smaller <laughs> it's it's getting there we're getting close guys we're definitely getting close to like the very end of this whole treatment it's not only the way it looks but also the way it feels my bite feels much better i feel more comfortable when chewing i am 
really happy because it means that I'm getting there, things are improving little by little and yeah, like it feels much better. Another thing I wanted to say is that last month in May, I went on a trip I went to the US and I had the opportunity to get myself my very own water flosser. This is literally the most inexpensive water pick I found. I think it cost $30 around that. I am so happy to finally have this in my hands. I got the water pick travel version of the regular one. Um, this works with batteries and the reason why I decided to get this is number one because of the price and number two because of the voltage. Voltage in Peru is 220 compared to 110. I think that's voltage in the US. So this one was way more convenient for me. I've only used it twice. <laughs> And I have to say that I got water everywhere. It was such a mess. I'm going to open this up, okay? This is a box. And then that's... That's a water flosser. We have the guide. Three batteries. Right here. Two tips. And then we have our super cool water flosser just a quick close up so you guys can see the machine we have the tip then the container and this is where you put the batteries <laughs> basically what i have to do to set it up is just remove the container the bottom part here we have to twist it to remove the cap and put the batteries so the batteries are in close it completely secured and so we put the container back in that's that and then when we grab the tip we hear a click and it is ready to be used and so now for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go to my bathroom. I'm gonna try it one more time so you guys can see and hopefully it won't get that messy. <laughs> hey, hello you guys. I'm here in my bathroom and um, I have my water pig water flosser right here. I'm just going to open the cap, going to insert the water and <laughs> let's just hope for the best something I have to say here is that because things got very messy the last time I used this um, I just grab a towel <laughs> To like wrap it the container is almost full like I don't want to put it to the top because water starts to leak Like I don't know if that's normal, but let's just start shall we? <laughs> I am not even kidding like I need to show you my mirror right now I just need to learn how to use this properly one more thing I have to say is that I don't think this container is enough to do your whole mouth I believe one container is for the top teeth and then one container for the bottom teeth I read the reviews and for some people that's a problem not to me but yeah, like hopefully I'll get better at this and hopefully my teeth cleaning routine will get even better. Something I need to point out is that I didn't get this to replace dental floss, not at all. I decided to get this to complement my whole teeth cleaning routine. And I also got this tongue scraper. So with these two things, I believe that my dental cleaning routine is complete, finally. So please look forward to a video that will be out there in the near future. I will upload my complete teeth cleaning routine. I'm super excited to show you guys that and yeah okay you guys so to end this video i am finally going to share with you the news where should i start okay 
Basically, last Thursday, May the 26th, I was at my dentist office and I was talking to my ortho. He was telling me that I'm doing great and, you know, next month this is what's gonna happen, the following month this is what's gonna happen, and yada yada. And I was like, that's great because something big is gonna happen in my life next year, like something huge, a milestone to me. And he was like, okay, girl, just tell me, are you gonna get married? Are you gonna travel? Where are you gonna go? When are you gonna come back? And I was like, no, I am definitely not getting married. But I had to ask anyway, so I was like, when people get married, do they ask you to remove their braces and then ask you to put them back on? And he was like, yes. <laughs> but anyway, in 2019, I was planning this trip that was gonna happen in 2020, but you know what happened in 2020? All countries shut down, so it was impossible for me to go anywhere, and so I started working to save money for that trip. For the ones who have followed my channel for quite a while, I feel that <laughs> For the past two years, I have been saying that I am moving out, I am moving out, I am moving out, and, and it never happens. <laughs> and I can finally say that I got my visa. I am so excited, you guys, for what's gonna happen to me in the future. I am so excited. I would love to tell you where I'm planning to go but I just don't want to jinx it, if that makes sense. You never know what's gonna happen in the future, you know? Literally, my plan was to travel in 2020, but then COVID happened, like, nobody expected that. So, because of that, I just don't want to say things for sure. And so, for that reason, I can say that I am 90 to 95% certain that I am traveling and moving out next year. And that's what I told my orthodontist, and he was like, don't worry, because by March, you'll be done with your braces treatment. And I was like, yes! I'm so excited about the future, you guys. You have no idea how excited I am. But yeah, that's the news. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna say is that I definitely have content for next month because next month I'm getting IPR, which is filing the edges of the teeth to make more space. I'm gonna explain that to you in much detail, like next month so please look forward to it please keep an eye on my channel because content is coming that's all for today's video thank you so much guys for taking your time to watch my videos it means a lot to me so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart please stay safe please be kind and see you in my next video bye bye i'm not even kidding you guys like look at all the droplets on the mirror <laughs> it's a mess